Speaking of speaking of uh, you, last week, because that did happen last week. I think that was Saturday. Yes. But Friday, mm. that was a video snook. <clears throat> so sure was. Yeah. And I love that and, video. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you liked it? Yeah. I kept it a secret for you. I didn't show you yeah, it yeah, yeah. until uh, the, we, we, the finish thing. We, we did, like, plan it out. But, like, the actual, like, result from it, I had... Like, that video could have gone two ways to me. Like, it's either it's like, oh, it's kind of lame. Like, it's not really too much happening. Or it's a fucking gold mine of just random shit. Yeah, uh, and it uh, it was pretty good. It was a lot of yeah, it worked out pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was super surprising. So like last week we did the uh, Chat GPT thing where they wrote uh, the AI thing wrote a script for the video, but before the script part, the scripted part of the video, which I then sort of like presented, um, we just also asked some questions like, when is uh, when is 1.0 going to be? Um, do they know do they even know what satisfactory is and uh it was pretty cool and actually they did know what sat satisfactory was which was <coughs> super cool yeah um and um yeah so here, here's a link to that video if you hadn't seen it check it out but it was really really fun and, and the premise was sort of like i want to you want to see if chat gdp could make the youtube video for you like essentially exactly yeah, yeah like and i want to i wanted to ask it like well what features are coming to update eight and um yeah, I just kind of see what it came up with. It was it was interesting. <laughs> Spoilers: most of the features, like either already had we already one of, the, one of the features was a multiplayer. Support. A multiplayer. <laughs> that was one of the features. <laughs> Love it. We'll we'll get yeah, right it, that it on. Did, it didn't bring up golf. It didn't bring up golf. That's a bit so. lame, actually. I was hoping yeah. it would be like. I was hoping it would add, like say something completely random, like uh, you, we should add. Um, I don't know motorcycles or something you know like something really random yeah 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 most of the stuff wasn't that random i suppose like alien invasion was kind of yeah. random but what made it more random was mason's b-roll for that <laughs> <laughs> which is incredible because <laughs> you, you might think like oh alien invasion that's kind of like you know base defense kind of elements that's not that random yeah. we get that stuff all the time but then when you when you view it in the way that mason presented it with the b-roll it's really, really funny <laughs> It was really funny. Like a flying saucer just like randomly abducting your factory parts. Yeah, exactly. That's your base defense right there. That's true. It does It does know me now. I did tell it who I was. It didn't know who it was. Mm. Um, Underwater Factory was good. Uh, a lot of people in the comments were like, hey, actually, that's a really good idea. And I could I could, I could, could feel myself just, you know, internally going, hey, don't get any ideas. Yeah. <laughs> right? And AI wrote this. This was not a statement of anything that we... Mm. Mm. Uh, Zip it. But, yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of fun. But you can already kind of build underwater. There's 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 sure. ways to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. But ChatGPT is kind of it's kind of like AI is obviously the thing that's kind of like going around the internet right now because there's 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 a couple of services that people are really popular right now. Um, like AI stuff is a kind of broad term too because it you know it refers to so many things. But chat, mm -hmm. G, chat GPT, what does a GPT stands for? Do you know? Uh, it means uh, great personal touch. <laughs> That's true. Um, but yeah, like th those kind of like linguistic AI have, have have been around for so long, but I feel like they haven't been this like fine tuned until now. Like I've seen a lot of yeah. code examples where people are like, tell it like, hey, can you write me a code segment that does blah? And it kind of does it. Generative pre-trained transformer. Gotcha. I don't know if that's true or not. More than we partition the eye. table. It's probably the, yeah. Partition da, 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 da. table. Um, but <laughs> can Chat GPT will confidently lie its face off. That's actually true. When we asked what the uh, yeah, you know, what the recipe for HMFs are, and I was like, uh, actually, it wasn't uh, even right heavy, on the fucking. <laughs> uh, what was it? Tem high, high temperature insulation. Insulation or something like that. Yeah. Uh, or high temperature of insulation. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was just like, yeah, it's just a fiberglass and rubber. It's, you know, yeah. I mean, what, you know, uh, that was pretty, that was pretty strange. Uh, the, like the code examples that I've seen people do where it writes code or like you ask it to optimize code. That seems really, really interesting. Yeah. That it can kind of do that. And apparently some of its results are actually fairly decent, but I, I, I found that like in using it, and especially when it came to writing out scripts, I could see that like it kind of only could do one sort of thing, and that was just like broadly drone on about uh, a mundane thing. Um, and and at first, the first time you see it, it seems 
it seems super impressive because you're like, wow, that's really like thought out kind of and like really like expansive the way that it <clears throat> describes things. But then I ask it to like write a few more features and it's the exact same thing with a few mm. kind of words changed. I mean, it's still fairly uh, impressive, but like, I don't know. I don't know if you can, it, it, it doesn't seem like a, so versatile that, that you could make it write your scripts for content. Yeah. You could maybe make it write one one video. Even then it's kind of lacks a bit of uh, substance. But if you, you know, if I were, wrote uh, three or four videos using ChatGPT, they'd all just feel like the same video, except I switched some words around. Yeah. I think so. But it was still, still <clears throat> interesting regardless. Um, and the other uh, practical applications of it can be um, pretty um, interesting too, especially when, like, when, like we were saying with code stuff, where sort of the results of that are how to measure quality there is a bit easier than mm. how to measure the quality of a script yeah that's true uh, yeah um because like one of my friends who also works in games he's a writer uh, as a games writer and he tried it as well he was he was curious like can i use this to to actually like do my job so he tried to make like a he was making like some kind of uh this wasn't for the game but this was like descriptive text for one of the like updates they did or something like that <clears throat> and, he, and he tried to like tell like hey we're gonna do this thing and you can write can you write me like uh as a press release or something like that and it was just like super generic and he felt like he had to rewrite it anyways so he's like well, yeah. what was the point of this this just added work for me yeah um yeah maybe maybe it can be like uh you know it can maybe generate like some ideas to spawn inspiration yeah. i think that might be interesting for sure but the end of the day you need to craft it yourself but you know we say this now it's really easy to say this now but like this is like one of the first like more mainstream kind of models of this right yeah i feel maybe there's some other ones right. i'm not sure but this is the one that got popularized who knows yeah, exactly. like in five years yeah. what happens or 10 definitely. years definitely because like so. the more popular this gets the more like useful it become and there's always like there's all always like the ethical issues that comes with it as well and like the copyright stuff mm -hmm. uh but like the the thought of like you know Machine learning or, you know, because that's the same thing, like AI is a very broad term because like chat GPT is, you know, a linguistic like interpreter as well, right? Because it's also taking, you're writing a sentence yeah, yeah. and it's interpreting like, what do you mean? And then that transforms into something. And it does understand you well, yeah. like pretty well. That's accurate and that's hard. And, and that's, that's hard as yeah. well because like there's ambi yeah. ambiguity, amb ambi ambi God damn it. Ambiguity. Ambiguity issues with our la within our language, right? So like for a long time, People, when we were talking about AI, people were always like, we're never going to get an AI that's good enough to understand everything we say because our language has so many ambiguous issues. So, like, yeah. we also have to solve that issue first for, like, a computer to be able to, like, interpret what we mean when we say things. Yeah. So it's, but I, I think it's really impressive. I think we've come a long way there, at least, because Jet GPT, yeah. at least re on the level that I've seen, understands what we're writing really well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's all like a lot of the AI stuff that's happening recently. It's like uh, it's um, it's clearly very, very powerful, regardless of how you feel about it. And uh, I think I think uh, we kind of need to respect it. Sometimes I see some stuff like online where people uh, they they show like a, a, an image that was created, and there's like one obvious flaw, and they're like, "Well, I guess we're safe from AI for a while." I don't know about that. Like I, th I think a lot of the times those little mistakes are probably don't m matter as much as we want them to matter mm. you know in order to dismiss the whole technology i think the technology is clearly heading in a pretty serious direction um and like cherry picking random little mistakes like that probably doesn't actually justify yeah. that or dismiss uh where we're at with the technology so we'll see we'll see what happens uh i think it's clearly really powerful yeah um because at least for, for like photography yeah. and stuff like that 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 they've done that for a long time like photoshop has the thing where like it automatically figures out like who's the subject in the photo mm -hmm. stuff like that that's insanely powerful right now and that's been in the works for yeah. a long time and like I, I i'm really curious as to see what other like aspects of that is going to come because right now we're just seeing like i want to generate pictures so you know with the diffuse what's it called like the, the the diffuse model or the the stability ai thing where like it's mm -hmm. generating pictures from pictures um, and that's like one area of use, right? There's so many other ways to do it. I know yeah. one thing that I always constantly get emails about is like, uh, there's apparently like community moderation tools where like it detects like who's toxic in your community <laughs> and stuff like that. And like- and Community managers. Yeah, community managers is just our job. Yeah. Is, uh, Interesting. Yeah. 
And uh, you know, if you have like content moderation and stuff like that, where like dick pics and, and figuring out like that stuff. Yeah. And uh, I know that PUBG and like Fortnite and stuff uses like cheat detection to like figure out if people are hacking stuff like that. Interesting. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, w that's not an AI. That's just model training. So that's what I mean. Like, with the AI being a really broad term, because like we often refer to machine learning as AI, whereas machine learning can just be image interpretation. Same thing there. Like, it's not really. Mm -hmm. Like, and then if you if you start talking about we freely use the word AI for like enemies in video games yeah. and a lot of times that kind of AI is just simply moved f thing from A to B that's not even AI yeah. um, you know or with a few if conditions like exactly. it can be really it can be really really simple and we'll still we won't hesitate to call that AI so yeah yeah so the term is growing and there's yeah there's always yeah. like the ethical dilemmas with the copyright issues where you have like derivative work versus transformative work and like the lawsuits that are coming up against stability ai and that kind of stuff there's a really good i can mm. recommend there's a really good quarter, quarter to crew are like uh, a youtube channel that does a lot of um, like video and like cinematography work and they've yeah vfx stuff yeah vfx stuff and they've been really good at like adapting to new technology and they've been doing a lot of ai stuff they have a really good video mm -hmm. where they explain sort of the ethical dilemma. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, highly recommend that video. It's called, it's, it's, it has a really um, clickbaity title though, so it might be hard to find, but it's, it's like something... <laughs> that's very ironic. It's like lawyer explains something AI lawsuit okay. or something like that. Um, I can't remember. But it's, it's a really good like video explaining like the whole issue with, with it. So, uh, yep. I'd recommend They're it. veterans of YouTube as well. Yeah, for, for sure. Uh, started with Cardo Digital, right? Yeah. I think they used to work with uh, Justin Wong. Wait, what's his name? Uh, his name is... Yeah, I know. Is it, it Justin Wong? Is it Wong? Or is it Justin someone else? I can't remember. Freddy. No, that's Fre a fighting Freddy. game player. Never mind. Yeah. Freddy, Freddy Wong. Freddy Wong, yeah, that's the one. Uh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah. What is he doing nowadays? Freddy W. It is Freddy Wong, right? That's the one. Sure. Lawyer explains stable diffusion lawsuit. It also explains a little bit how that like uh, algorithm works as well. Because that's the thing. It's, it is an algorithm. Like at the end of the day, it's it's not like a general AI that's like thinking and making these pictures. It's 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 it's. You know what's not? You're an algorithm. Now what on. if I am? What if what if I'm an AI and you guys just <laughs> don't know it? You know? How's that for an ethical dilemma right there? Ooh, or maybe it's not. Ethical. Yeah. Ooh, dilemma. Anyways, but but yeah, like yeah. in terms of, do, do you know any like tools for AI that you think like w would be useful for you in in, because, um, not right now. I I honestly think a lot of these tools are just kind of gimmicky, and I think they're just a, a launch board for AI to go on to do bigger and better things. Yeah, uh, and I think it's gonna be all the subtle ways in the background, which AI already does. Mm. That that's that's like that's actually the major stuff. So. I don't know. I was a little. These are kind of fun to play with for now. But I was a little inspired because uh, I tried to use uh, Chat GPT uh, for responding to people that DM'd me <laughs> uh, as like a little experiment. So, but I only, I, I really, really, I didn't really use the response I got from the 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 AI. I mostly just like took what it said and like, all right, just reword this and copy this and make it my own. Uh, like a couple of people asked me, like, what's the similarity between factory and satisfactory? Um, and it was like, or like, is satisfactory a factory or clone? Was the question I got. And I pumped that into Chat GPT, and it was like, satisfactory does share some similarities to factory, but in fact, there are mechanics and blah, blah, blah. I was That's actually pretty, standard. it was a very standard response, but it was actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it was true, like, you know. But, but Satisfactory is a factory or clone, so like, it was def dead wrong anyways. <laughs> it was dead wrong anyways. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, so yeah. Stuff. Interesting. Let, let's oh, oh. Let's see what the future holds. Thanks for tuning in for the uh, second podcast episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have saved that for April. <laughs> no, I actually, ooh, I actually have an April. Wait. Okay, well, good. Let's talk about uh, this I'm later. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to remember what it is, though. Um, anyways, we're going to check out some some community stuff that's been made. Uh, I'm, yeah, let's do it. Pass it on event review. You're going to have to delay for a little bit because it took an hour to load the save file. So uh, I'm just going to change the agenda and have to stall for like two hours. An hour? Because... <laughs> uh, I don't know if serious or not. No. <laughs> no. But it took... it. it it's a beefy save file. 
Yeah, you guys remember, you guys had Jace GPT a few months ago, do you remember? Oh yeah! That was, was like last year, wasn't it? It wasn't a few months ago, it was literally a year yeah, ago. Yeah, that was for the days. Like ten months. I think I That's still have... Fun. That was a fucking pain in the ass to set up. That was funny. Uh, that was so weird, I was on the train watching me <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. So dumb. Yeah, that was fun. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Jace Bot. Which was uh, when Jace was in Australia for a bit. You were on vacation as well, but mm -hmm. for a little bit of it. Yeah. But I think it was like I think the reason why I did it that day was because you couldn't be on stream that day because you were traveling that day. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we. Were... I was on the train to Stockholm while watching the stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That so I was I, supposed to be on. We just yeah. recorded Jace saying a bunch of random shit, and then I just made like a script that I could just like trigger the video commands, and I had like you were like on loop as well, just reacting like, huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> and then I also had like if I'm talking to you, like Jay's nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's nodding, but it was really funny. Oh, that was so good. I, I love that you never broke the uh, the you never broke the illusion. No, 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 no. You stuck with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole time, it it, it happened. It was it was all there. <clears throat> <laughs> what fresh is here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, that was actually you did legit record something for that though. Yeah. You were like, oh yeah. shit, hell fresh is that. And you left and you're like gone. And I had a loop of you being gone. And then you just came back and be like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There was one funny uh, thing when I came back. You had two versions of me coming back. <laughs> one was just a standard, just come back and sit down. And then there was another one that did something. You can, you, I think you sat down and ate popcorn or something like that. Yeah, ate some food or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was really funny. And we recorded that the day before. It was like literally the day before. We're like, hey, wouldn't it be oh. funny if we did this? I'm like, yeah. And then I just recorded it and sent us a note. Yeah. The, Has Jace ever been here? I would live there. Pr pr <laughs> <laughs> there was one moment, I just remembered something. There was one moment you had like a super long like, oh, I would live there definitely. I would go there, live blah, oh, blah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I accidentally triggered that somewhere and I was so surprised by like how Do long- Do you have that set up? Could you replace me right now? I don't think so. Uh, oh, where... okay. I don't remember how I set it up. I think I had like one scene. I think, no, I think I removed it. Okay, I actually remember now. I actually removed it from this. Set. I have the setup copied, but those the scene collection we're on right now doesn't have it. Okay. <clears throat> because, oh yeah, right, right. Because I did yeah, like another, uh, I took this, sometimes I take this whole stream setup that we have and just copy and paste it in somewhere. Like on a, I actually use Git. Just make sure that we have like this setup ready somewhere so it's easy to install and i remember i removed that because it took up like it's like five gigs of just footage of you going like uh-huh 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 yeah. <laughs> how do we know this is the real jace i guess you don't blink twice if no, you're the real jace well there you have it <laughs> you don't you don't <laughs> 